It was Friday night lights as the Golden Hurricane played host to Houston in the American Athletic Conference opener at H.A. Chapman Stadium. All the details next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard, the Hurricane taking on Houston in the American Athletic Conference opener on Friday night, and sometimes games simply get away from you, and that's what happened as the Hurricane fell by a final score of 45-10. to 10. We'll have the lead-up to the game and then first-half highlights. That's next on the Philip Montgomery Show. the American. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> the 45th meeting between the University of Tulsa and Houston with the Cougars leading the all-time series 25-19. Here's the lead-up to the game and then first half highlights. My broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and head coach, Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. Coach, coming into this, first of all, you got a Houston team who's been a little up and down. They weren't sure who they were, but what you see on film that made you think, yeah, they're pretty good? Well, you, you saw them in the first game versus Tech. Uh, you know, they really came out of the gates on all cylinders. Uh, uh, I think they stumbled a little bit in the second half there. Tech had a couple of big plays in there. Really didn't sustain a lot of drives, but had a couple of big plays. You know, the rest of their games, you know, you're looking at Rice and Grambling and then Navy. You know, those are those are teams that they performed extremely well against, and you knew they had an explosive quality about them. But, you know, I feel the same way about our offense and our defense and our special team. So I thought it was going to be a battle all night long. Uh, I thought it was going to really come down to who controlled the line of scrimmage, and, and uh, we really didn't control the line of scrimmage like we needed to tonight. You know, defensively, we saw them be really aggressive, and that's something they had kind of a – that's what they do. So coming into this, were they about what you expected? Well, they were a little more aggressive than what we thought. Um, obviously, thought we could establish the run a little bit better than what we did. We needed to stay ahead of the chains. Didn't do a great job at that tonight. I uh, thought we had some guys open, but, you know, just the amount of time Davis needed to kind of see some things and make those things happen, 
uh, just wasn't there. We just we didn't play our best ball tonight. Yeah. Friday night football in Tulsa. Let's get the first half highlights of Tulsa and the Houston Cougars. Williams, and here's the kick. High end over end, and playable for Dell at the one. Straight up the middle, 5, 10, 15 to the 20. Big hole, and he may go. 35, 40, a flag flies, 50, 45, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. But again, three flags littering the field at the 20-yard line. Holding, receiving team, number 40, 10-yard penalty, first down. So he's not as mobile as he normally is. Fake handoff, back to pass, now throws left side and a lunging catch at the 23-yard line. Well, on second down and eight from their 25, no score, just underway. Tune out of the shotgun, has the snap chest high and hands it off on a draw play. It's McCaskill and McCaskill weaves to the left and he charged on third down and eight. Out of the shotgun, Tune has the snap and drops back to pass. Here comes the rush, throws near side and a nice turning catch by Dell. He catches it at the 33. Dell, first and 10 from their 36. Six. He turns and hands it off now, off the left side and getting bottled up as McCaskill and he got knocked down by Wick and by Justin Wright. Here is Lane Wilkins, 47.2 average, second in the league only to the Tulsa punter, Lachlan Wilson. The left footer gets it high in the air, a wobbly spiral to the far side and it is Stokes back to receive and Stokes lets it bounce at the 16. It ran out of the shotgun. Motion from right to left by Stokes. Now four receivers on the left side. Quick flip throw goes to Stokes, and he gets drilled at the 21-yard line incomplete. As racing in there was Jace Rogers, and he hammered Stokes right in the helmet. And, uh, you know, that would be one that on another day they might review that and look at that as being targeting. Now, they are actually looking at it over here to my right again here in the booth, but I don't think they're actually thinking much about it. Well, he is looking at it, and I think they are going to call down, Bruce. And now we do have a whistle. Boy, you, you are... Previous uh, play is under further review. You are... You are... Uh, trans uh, you, you are... At the further review, number six... from their 39-yard line for the Hurricane. Here's the snap. Back to pass, Bryn. Blitz comes. They pick it up, but now here he's going to get sacked way back at the 25-yard line. Logan Hall went his rush. Well, and back deep to receive is the most dangerous punt returner in the league is Lachlan Wilson. A high nose-up spiral. Good kick. And way back at the 9-yard line is Jones. Jones goes up the middle. He gets hit and dropped at about the 18-yard line. Irwin, two receivers near side right. Out of the shotgun, Tune, and now Carter back in motion to the right again on that wide side. Tune awaits the snap, claps his hands, has the snap, back to pass, rushes on. He rolls to the left, still running, still rolling. Now he flips it downfield. It's caught by Trahan, left side, 40, 30, 25, 20, inside the 20 to the 15, and jostled out of bounds. Here's the snap on first down. Fake handoff, throw over the middle. It is batted away. Good play by Martin, and a flag flies. It was intended. We're calling holding before. Pass interference. Defense, number seven. Ball be placed in the spot of the foul. It's an automatic first down. Or of this ball game in a scoreless contest. Here's the snap. It's a high snap, and the handoff goes to McCaskill, who dances into the end zone for a touchdown. And with 4.23 remaining in the first quarter, the Houston Cougars have the lead at six to nothing. And he now checks into the game on first down and 10. Here's the snap, fake handoff, tune back to pass. Inside screen is caught on the play by Dell. I'm sorry, it is uh, Singleton, left side. He breaks a tackle, left side, 20, 15, 10, five, and a touchdown, Houston. Well, they are dominating this game, 14, 13 to nothing fullback types on fourth down a half yard from the 31 yard line. They have to get it to the 30. Bryn out of the shotgun has eight seconds to get the play off. Here's the snap and he fumbles the snap. The ball is loose. It's on the turf to the right far side. Doesn't matter who recovers it. I think Tulsa ended up recovering the ball with Tyler Smith. A bad snap, a botched snap, and on a fourth down play, a 13-yard loss, and Houston takes over at their 44. Or with Houston on top early moments of the second quarter, 13-14 to go in the second quarter of play. Toon has the snap and hands it off, and that play was gummed up, but then breaking a tackle, going up the middle, McCaskill breaks another 15-10-5 touchdown. 
So it is second and 10 for Tulsa at their 25 yard line. TU trailing 21 0. Back to pass Bryn. Big rush on. He rolls to the right, still rolling, and now he gets dumped for no gain. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Two players in there chasing him, Atlas Bell. So it is third and 10 for Tulsa at their 25. Motion now by Stokes. Brooks is in the game as the running back. Back to pass Bryn. Has time. Throws left side. Intercepted on the far side at the 31 yard line. And the pick off by Demarion Williams. Talking about Dell and Singleton. And a couple of receivers. One is a slot and then the tight end Trahan split out to the right side on second down and nine. Here's the snap. Back to pass Toon. Toon left side complete as he throws it to Dell. Caught it at the 10. Cuts inside at the five. And he gets it down near the goal line. Ball is jarred loose. It's fumbled into the end zone. They're saying he is down. Tulsa say they, they say they have recovered in the end zone. The official said he was down. They're moving on the field. There's a runner down at the one yard line. First down. It'll be a 17 yard gain and first and goal. Yes. They, they're looking. The guys to my right are looking. Now they run a quick play off to the left side. McCaskill scores a touchdown. Santana to the left, two receivers near side, right on second and 10. Handoff goes to Brooks. He's hammered for a loss of five. Goodness. 8.50 remaining, first half of play. Knee high snap and back to pass Bryn. He gets hit as he throws it down the field and it's a high floating ball that is intercepted at midfield. Picked off by Alex Hogan, other tight end Trahan, who is on the left side. Here's the snap on third down, back to pass. Floats it to the left side and it is picked off, intercepted by Jace Oliver in the end zone. Oliver with a pickoff with 4.20 remaining on the pass intended for Christian Trahan. Moving on the field is an interception in the end zone. It's first and 10 for the Golden Hurricane trailing 28-0, 4.20 remaining first half. Bryn back to pass, now throws high and over the middle and it's Crawford who catches it at the 45. He's down to the 40, he's down to the 37 and Tulsa finally gets a big play. Folks, one receiver near side right is Crawford. And Bryn looks to the sideline with 15 to get the playoff. Single setback is Brooks. On third down and 15 for the Hurricane. Tulsa one for seven on third downs. Back to pass Bryn, he throws, left side caught. Stokes, left side, turns out of bounds. Far boundary at the 16. Snap is back, the ball is down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. He hammers it through, and the Golden Hurricane is on the board. It's 28 to three. At halftime, the Golden Hurricane down 28-3, to but they end up getting a field goal at the end of the half. We'll see if that momentum carries to the second half as we talk halftime highlights and get you to the second half when the Philip Montgomery Show continues in a moment. the American. Mer this one's for every service fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough, not Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort.
At halftime, the Golden Hurricane down 28 to 3, but you get the kickoff to start the second half. Let's talk halftime adjustments and get you the second half highlights. Here's Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. All right, coach, thank you, Bruce. At the half, you, this has not been an easy first half. It's yeah. been up, it's been down, there's been mistakes, there's been penalties. When there's zero flow to a game, what do you even talk about at halftime? Well, that's what we did. I mean, we needed to come out and establish some things early. Uh, get into the flow and the rhythm of the game. And it was choppy all night long. Uh, but uh, we need to get some stops on defense, need to get some first downs, convert those, sustain some drives, get into the flow of it. Uh, that was really what we were preaching at halftime and needed to make that happen. And then you, you wanted to protect Davis Brent because that was so important. He had to run for his life an awful lot. Yeah, you know, again, in, until I look at the tape, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. But uh, felt like there was a lot of things going on up there. He was always having to step and move and even trying to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Uh, you know, all of a sudden pressure right in his face and he's having to step and now he's late with that ball because of, of protection. So. Um, Battled, battled, but just didn't have it tonight. All right, second half highlights. Here they come, Tulsa and Houston. And held on to it. First down, Tulsa at their 35-yard line. Here's the snap. Fake handoff, throw over the middle, batted in the air, and it is intercepted. Intercepted on the right sideline, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Javarius Owens goes in for a score, and a late flag comes in. And Johnson, two receivers, Stokes and Crawford to the right on third down and eight. Back to pass, Bryn throws it high in the air again. Near side, it's a battle, and Crawford somehow catches it at the 45-yard line of Houston. That's a catch and a first down. They'll mark it at the 44 on that high rainbow pass right side, and he beat Alex Hogan. You don't want to see that as a diagnosis. First and 10 at the 45, back to pass Bryn. Big rush coming, he retreats, now throws near side, caught by Brooks at the 40. Brooks surging forward near boundary to the 38, and they got about seven or eight. And we're watching it on replay on ESPN, and the, yeah, Houston clearly was confused. Now here's the play, a quick pass over the middle, caught by Naylor at the 34 to the 31. 22, 35-3 is your score, Houston with the lead, with 435 remaining in the third quarter. Bryn out of the shotgun has the snap, back to pass, pressure on, here he, there they come, and they just plow him, the nose tackle. And now out of the shotgun tune to his left is McCaskill. Two receivers near side right. Second and goal from the eight. Back to pass Toon. Toon throws it over the middle in the end zone. Caught backing up in the end zone. Seth Green, the senior tight end, makes the catch. And it's 41 to three. Right. Chris Paul on the right tackle. Here's the snap back to pass Bryn. And a flag flies as he throws left side. Caught by Jones and tumbled out of bounds. And the Cleveland Browns, of course, he's at the two point stands. And it is second and 10. Here's a quick throw over the middle. It is caught by Naylor. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Tulsa. Bryn got that ball and rifled it over the middle for a score. 41 yards. Hurricane on the board with their first touchdown. And it's Ezra Naylor. Yeah, and I think a lot of us would like to see. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively, we answer instantly to make a different difference. It's true true and taking risks, risks and ending up yeah, what's white right. True blue is blue in hundred and hundred and five twenty five legacy legacy. Fine fine true did you at University of City the mission of St. Francis system to express presence and heal in the ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Cheers!
years to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show. And on our feature segment, it's about Chris Paul, Tulsa's fine offensive tackle, who's had a fabulous career for the Golden Hurricane, both on and off the field. He has musical pursuits. He's a great football player. But he also has gotten involved in, ironically enough, something called sack. Well, as an offensive lineman, he tries to prevent sacks on the field. But off the field, he got very involved in SAC, which is the Student Athlete Advisory Committee at the University of Tulsa. Here's a closer look at what he's done during his time here at Tulsa. Even through high school, like I just naturally, I'm not one to put my eggs in one basket, like they're pretty um, spread out and I'm naturally passionate about a lot of different things and so I don't really like to confine myself into one realm. Um, I wanted to know what SAC was and I definitely got involved and so it's just crazy me making that decision to get involved, how that has spread onto other things and you think of SAC and in terms of the NCAA governance structure, right? You have it at the institutional level, the conference level, and then all the way up to the national level. I think the most striking thing is how it can be different at each, each level, right? When you think of TUSAC, you think of the, the group of appointed student athletes to represent the student athlete body here at TU to our administration and to sort of facilitate our year-round events. And then when you get to the conference level, that sort of changes a little bit. Now um, you are one of two or three representatives representing your entire student athlete body to the conference administration. And then when you get to the national level, you are one of 32 student athletes that report directly to the uh, Division I Council. I, I call him the president, and, and I truly believe that. I mean, he is he's an ambassador, a great ambassador for our program. He's a great leader within our team, not just on the field, but off the field. He has such a calming influence about him. It's, it's definitely a responsibility that I do not take lightly in any sense of the word, um, it's, it's been a blessing to be able to do that and I do take pride in representing our awesome conference. I've definitely learned that things are more connected than you might think they are and that um, a lot of things are bigger than you. So right now that I'm at the, at the national level, now I'm in charge of stating the American Athletic Conference's position I'm in charge of really making sure that I get feedback from all of our institutional SACs within the conference to make sure that I'm accurately stating the position of our student athletes. And so that's, that's the, that kind of responsibility and, and making sure that's done ethically and properly has been very important to me. Chris Paul, all-star offensive lineman, musical recording artist, volunteer in numerous charitable causes, and American Athletic Conference SAC rep to the NCAA. You could say at this young age, he is a renaissance student athlete. More on the Philip Montgomery Show in a moment. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. 
What is True Blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively, we strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, strength, risking risk, and standing, standing for what's right. A true blue is a 105 year old. Find the true, the true you at the ever university of. The mission of St. Francis System to, ex to extend the presence ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Cheers to a big win when you play Oktoberfest of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Get your fill of fun and overflowing cash giveaways. A total of $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily and you could be one of nine to tap into the winnings. Up to $10,000 each week. So raise your glass to the best fall ever and fill it with an Oktoberfest of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> All right, thanks, Bruce. So the final 42 to 10, Coach, and that's not something you even want to think about, but you have to watch the, the film, you have to bring your team back in, and you have to find teachable moments, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to learn a lot off of this tape, and we're going to have to be real honest about who we are, what we are, and what we can do. And so uh, I think we've got the talent in the room to go do some things. We've shown that throughout the year. Uh, we've played some good teams and been very, very competitive with them. Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to learn a lot from this tape. And then, you know, from a leadership standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, from an energy standpoint, uh, we've got to be better next week. You know, our, our thoughts and our, our promotion part of this is going to be, hey, we've got to be 1-0. Whatever happened, we're going to learn from it, but we've got to move on. And, and then we've got to the rest of the season in front of us. Well, and that's the important point. You're only 0-1 in conference. You right. still have a lot to go, and you've got a home game against Memphis. Makes it even bigger. Yeah, it really does. I mean, uh, the start of conference play, obviously we wanted to start better than what we did. That being said, uh, there's still a lot of football up ahead of us and in front of us, and uh, we're going to have to perform a lot better with Memphis coming to town. And hopefully a little extra day's rest might help that. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. All right, and it's next Saturday night, 8 o'clock, right here at H.A. Chapman, H. Chapman Stadium. It's Tulsa and Memphis. All right, thanks, guys. University of Tulsa with their second straight American Athletic Conference home game, and it comes up on Saturday as TU plays host to the Memphis Tigers, and it begins at 8 o'clock. Get your tickets now at 918-631-GO-TU or TulsaHurricane.com. For my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, and by Pepsi. The Philip Montgomery Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.